everyone, and welcome to the 94th episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. My name is Benedict, you may know me better as BHL Hudson. Here we talk about movies, TV shows, a bunch of nonsense. With me as always is my friend, co-host, and still having the same, one might say, garbage hair buddy, Ah. Frederick. (laughs) One might say, wild man Fred. God. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a... It's, uh, you had a stinker of a, of, of a <laughs> bit, moment. Bit of an L. Yeah. So, yeah, to explain to the listeners, <laughs> they're not sitting there... Are these guys <laughs> Is it just his about? ugly looks that's a bit of an L? Because um, <laughs> we've already known that for, for years. <laughs> um, it's uh, Today was the day I was supposed to get the hair cut, cut quite short as well. It's going to do a mm. na- nasty little surprise for the... This is only for the pod, obviously. Um, and then an hour before I'm supposed to go get it cut because I didn't get a confirmation email of the booking. I was like, let me just, let me just call just in case I call them and they're like, oh yeah, you don't have a booking. I was like, okay, that's that's brilliant. Like it's been like a mess up in their system. I was like, is is there any free today? And they shut me down. Yeah. Too busy. Go away. I was like, all right, (laughs) that's, that's great. I mean, look, so. It's tragic. I'm still with the long hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but one might say you deserve it as like a form of divine punishment. Mm. You know? Fair. I, I did think that afterwards. I was like, did, did I have this coming? <laughs> hey, I and all the listeners, I assume, are very eagerly anticipating the reveal, the hair reveal, um, which will come, Oof. I guess, next episode. Because this episode will be out after you've gotten the cut. So maybe you mm, look exactly true. like the man who owns mini wagyu steaks or maybe he'll really mess Ooh. your mess your mess your face up so no yeah, I, I, yeah not my hair just they'll actually yeah. cut my nose off or something <laughs> exactly yeah before we get too much into this pod give a little background i mean there are time codes in the description if you really don't care but to give a little background to this right. pod um i am currently uh i don't want to say in the middle of antarctica because i'm not but I am in a place with <laughs> very, very poor Wi-Fi, so this is a, um, mm. a bit of a challenge of recording. They're probably going to be quite quite a disconnect between our connections, so there might be some awkward spaces, although that is not uncommon okay, on the podcast. Okay, it's going to be the most, the most awkward conversation in the world. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, we'll try to make it work. What's the deal with feathers? <laughs> nah. <laughs> You just assume that the connection's bad, but I'm actually just staring in dead silence. I heard you the second you said it. I heard it before you said it. You, you said you knew it was happening before it happened. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, that's what's happening today. And also, I'm in a very, um, shall we say not soundproofed house, so I'm pretty sure my entire family is getting just the pod for free, which, um, I've got, is which illegal. Is a crime. <laughs> yeah. I copyrighted that bitch. It's a pay-per-view. <laughs> God, imagine if we did the pod as a pay per view. So, um, God, yeah. we might we might do better than we are doing now. Pro- well, we're still um, we still haven't hit a thousand. So, um, I mean, uh, yeah, low key, so. like you guys don't have like four four friends and or parents to tell about the pod. And just tell them to subscribe. You, God, it'd be really sad if they don't have any parents. Yeah, um, you feel sorry. like a real asshole then, wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> sorry, my my bad. Um, <laughs> this just got awkward. <laughs> These are the awkward silences we're talking about. <laughs> anyway, if you have parents, which I hope you do, and friends, which I also hope you do, tell them to sub. <laughs> this is such a weird, such a weird way of promoting. The most, like, fever dream-esque episode so <laughs> you're far. Like, you're, like, trying to, like, sell it, like you're doing all your sales tactics. Like, okay, I should tell them, I hope their parents are alive, and then that will... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So if you have parents that are still breathing, please, can you send them over to our podcast channel? <laughs> That's such a weird thing. Anyway, um, I mean, I, I Very mean, meta I'll this. give a little peek behind the curtain. I have written a note here for myself to tell people to subscribe both at the beginning and the end of the podcast. So subscribe. All right, so I guess first one done. <laughs> and like and um, comment your thoughts on what we talk about down below. And if you're on iTunes or Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever, give us a rating and, and sub. So <laughs> stop on the YouTube still, please. <laughs> that is anyway, if you have parents. So <laughs> I didn't, God is such a disaster. No, I mean if you're if you don't have you know let, let's stop. Um, okay, let's move on. <laughs> so um, I like how you try to rational. No, exactly. I mean if you if you don't have you can, you can still do it. <laughs> it's the worst opening to the pod ever. I'm so sorry. Um, 
Today we're doing a news <laughs> episode. So, oh, um, oh man, I was also, really worried it was going to be like some crazy topic. No, because I didn't know what. <laughs> I got nothing. Of course, poorly planned. I didn't know what was happening until you just said it. No, I mean, well, this I didn't know I was doing this until about ten minutes ago when I started. <laughs> until I just said it as well. Yeah. <laughs> also, I have spent the entire day at the beach. And I'm extremely tired, but I'm such a strong man that I'm able to podcast as well after that. <laughs> So, God, so. <laughs> where is this man's treat? He deserves one. <laughs> First of all, um, I mean this new this news is also quite old or whatever. But you know what? I um, shut up. It's, that's to you specifically, uh, right. Freddie. Oh no, that's that's my bad. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, did you see the trailer for Encanto, the new Dis- Disney movie? Canto. Encanto. Encanto. I have not seen this. It might be in Santo, but I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> oh, I've seen in Santo. <laughs> it might be Shang Chi, but I, I don't know if I'm mispronouncing. <laughs> it it might be Meet the Jeffersons, <laughs> but um, but it's it's very hard to pronounce this one. So it could be any of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, in Canto, it's about um of uh, um, you know, it's a happy little town of Disney people. <laughs> And then uh, <laughs> one of them. I like how you looked around in your room and said, "That's never ever occurred in a Disney movie." It's a uh, little town. <laughs> no, it's because I, th- I thought I heard someone come in. Um, and basically, everyone has superpowers or powers or something, except for our protagonist, and she's the only not special one. I'm gonna guess by the end, she's gonna find out that the most special thing is being normal and being, you know, it's the, the same thing. It's in every movie. So, I mean, the movie looks fun, but, I mean, we talked about the hashtag formulaicness of Luca last week. All right, week. That, that, you, that you see and you just predict what happens. Also, your, your face is completely frozen for me right now, and it's just... Oh. <laughs> I'm just giving you that, giving you that Miss Miggleson look. <laughs> you decide what that look oh, is. God, you're just very, very disturbing. <laughs> but, um... And then, so yeah, it looks. Uh, by the way, I liked Luca a lot. I feel like I didn't convey that last time, but I like I liked it. I liked it fine enough. But um, oh god, you're you're frozen as well. Just in you're doing the biggest cheese smile. Just oh my god, and he's he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Can you hear me? And I feel like this is gonna be a long a long recording. Uh, Can there, you hear there me? He is. He's back. He's Hello? back. Oh, I could, I could like you're coming through perfectly for me. <laughs> so I just saw the whole range of emotions. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> We've lost him. <laughs> Um, anyway, but, um, so it looks like another really formulaic movie and, like, predictable and whatever, which I'm kind of sick of, but I guess the best, like, what they do now is they just do, like, the same formula, but then they put little twists on it, like, it's a world where everyone has powers and it's, you know, cool and whatever, and I think it's, um, the woman from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And then the sad Italian fish boy enters. (laughs) The woman from Brooklyn Nine-Nine voices the main person. Um. The woman. The there's, one, there's a few women in no, it. <laughs> the, the cool, like, the, the mean one. Um, oh, uh, Rosa? Yeah. And it looks pretty whatever. Not really that interested, but maybe it'll be really good. Um, All right. And All right. speaking of animated kids things, but this one looks a bit more unique, to be fair. Did you see the trailer for Turning Red? I did see this. Oh, it's like a teaser trailer, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's bar- it's barely anything. But why of yeah. all the things that you haven't seen that I bring up on this pod, <laughs> you've seen the trailer for Turning Red, the most <laughs> bizarre kids movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, well, what did you think of it then? Honestly, I think it looks kind of good. I think it looks kind of kind of interesting, kind of kind of funny, a little bit um, Hulk esque, but for kids. Yeah, so I guess she turns into a giant panda she when like she's embarrassed. Giant, giant red panda. I remember or reading the... Embarrassed or something? I, well, I remember the, reading the premise and I was thinking, like, that's a, an interesting idea, question mark? It should be should be kind of mm-hmm. fun. So, you know, it's Pixar. They're pretty good. They make Fishboy movies and The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, okay, so we're doomed. So, <laughs> so they have a 100% fail rate, but, um... <laughs> no, yeah, I think it could have a sweet message about family or something. And also, it's clearly about, like, um, kind of growing up and, like... Going through puberty yeah. and sort of the awkwardness, dealing and with your embarrassing, and, embarrassing yeah. parents, and your your body changing, but then it's actually your body literally changes into a red panda, and it's like you you literally, know, <laughs> amazing. You are literally a red panda right now. How do you feel? <laughs> amazing metaphors right there. So great, good stuff, Pixar. Congrats. Um, 
<laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> Good on you, Pixar. <laughs> I guess you're doing your fucking job. <laughs> I guess you made a movie or something. Uh, cool. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. <laughs> Have you seen Green Eyes? Better. <laughs> God, I completely forgot I made something called Green Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like been like a month and I was like, what the f*** is Green Eyes? Oh, <laughs> what is this man talking about? <laughs> Sounds dope though. Sounds like that's worth a <laughs> sub. I, 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 I don't know what Green Eyes is. I've never heard of it, but I kind of want to watch it really bad and give it like a thousand more views. Um, Is that just me or? I kind of want to give that like a, a local film festival award. I don't know about you. I, that's um actually a, a, pres- a prestigious um international film award, but you know, it's, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe the Palm Door of the Cannes Film Festival. But I'm, I'm just throwing it out there, just based on the name. It sounds really f-ing smart. Anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. I, you've never heard of that either. It just just came to you. <laughs> well, speaking of things that are really smart, Wong is back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the look of horror and disappointment. It was like saying like a. It's like in the Halloween trailer where like Michael Myers is back. Suddenly, Wong is back. <laughs> you just didn't even pause for dramatic effect. You just went straight into the film. <laughs> Speaking of things that are fantastic, Wong. Because <laughs> I mean, there's no need to hold you in more suspense when such a great piece of news is on your way. In September, uh, you will see Wong in when, cinemas again. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just not in a movie, he's just wandering. <laughs> he's just touring the world exclusively through cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> he bursts through the screen at the he's most not. climactic part of the film. <laughs> <laughs> he climaxes on the <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you why would you do this? I'm sorry. Why would you do this to our podcast? I meant to say what I had to say, Wong is the climax. <laughs> Good, yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. God. Anyway, but well, do you want to know in what capacity? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we'll just move on. No. Um, so in the oh god, he's gone again. Fuck. Am I gone? Really? I'll just wait. I'll, it, I'll wait it out. In in it, I know I know you can see edit. Him. In, in edit, I know he's probably you can, you'll hear rubbing his greasy little hands together, plotting his next scheme. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> God, you're gonna see this. You're gonna feel awful for what you've done when you hear this recording. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, he's back. Okay, he's back. Oh, okay. okay. Good, good. Um, you didn't hear any of that, right? I can hear you throughout the entire thing. <laughs> rubbing my greasy little hands together. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, it was in the Shang Chi trailer. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cut the connection. Cut the connection. <laughs> so, at the end of the Shang Chi, the Shang Chi trailer, the Shang trailer. <laughs> absolute disgust. I'm really tired. Okay. The Shang trailer. <laughs> it was a new trailer. It looked pretty good overall, but I mean, like. Of course, because the internet is what it is. The only thing people are talking about is at the end, Wong is there, <laughs> and he's fighting the abomination. What's the abomination? It's the thing from The Incredible Hulk. Remember the villain? Tim Roth becomes another Hulk? That was, that was the tagline for that movie? <laughs> Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's spiny Hulk. He has a big old spine. Ah, uh, I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I assume you so, remember yes. him. Anyway, he's back and he's fighting Wong in some kind of like Fight Club esque scenario for some reason. Not Fight Club, but like a like a fight thing. So that's something, I guess. Um, okay. So, are you excited <laughs> for for Shang Chi? I mean, now that Wong's in it, I'm I'm more intrigued than I was before. I'll definitely say that. There we go. Boom. So, that's, that's what we so, call the... so that's that's all you're getting, Shang Chi. But be happy with it. <laughs> that's what we call the Wong effect. Oh my God! There's a giant truck. <laughs> it's coming right for me. <laughs> <laughs> Audio cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> Visual stays though. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> it's all imaginary. Speaking of Marvel, though, we have a bunch of Marvel news. Um. Ooh. First of all. I mean, okay, let's go through the bigger stuff first. Did you hear that Hugh Jackman, a.k.a. Huge Jackman, might be coming back to the MCU? As Wolverine? (laughs) No, as Yellow Jacket. (laughs) 
<laughs> I don't know who. Oh, okay, I see. That's it, that's Baldy McAnt Man, right? <laughs> Baldy McSheep Killer. Yes, that that would be the one. Baldy McSheep. All right, good. That's 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 what I thought. Because he, um, uh, I did see this, and I was very very. Ex- he posted like on a story, right? Yeah. So I, I am intrigued because I think because Jackman is a bit of a sneaky boy. Like he would he would just he would just throw it out there just as a as a lull for himself, you know. But mm. I don't think he would though. <laughs> completely turn this around he would do this but at the same time he wouldn't and that's the beauty in this in this <laughs> in this marketing trick that hugh jackman's pulled off <laughs> leaves us guessing because he posted like something about wolverine and they posted a picture of him with kevin feige so like come on i think jackman's gonna be returning so, like it's happening yeah because i mean spider-man no way home is probably gonna have multiple spider people in it from the previous films and i don't want to spoil anything about any recent mcu things but there have been some things set up that could lead to other right things coming can I, in. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can we comment on this? Is this to do with Loki? You're gone again. Oh, I, I hate to say it. Oh uh, no. Um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe move somewhere with better Wi-Fi. Give me Hello? one second. I'm gonna try to see if we can if I can move somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Cause I think, I think somehow there's better Wi-Fi out on this porch. Than in my actual room, in this place. Okay. We're I mean, so far, so far, you're coming through pretty, pretty clearly. Okay. Well, for the listeners, and I, I hope there isn't too much background audio you can hear, but I'm literally out in the great outdoors, in the nature. There, you can definitely hear the birds. I guess this adds some he's kind he's of ambience. Shir- mm-hmm. He's, a, he's a shirtless wild man. Well, I don't know why you have to tell them I'm shirt. All right. I- <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't paint too graphic of an image. <clears throat> I did just, uh, well, I mean, I, you know, I came back from the beach, right? What can I say? But, anyway, um, so yeah, hope, oh, bro, I mean, low-key, this is kind of an epic pod setting. I mean, it's just kind of super chill. I just mm-hmm. hope, like, you can't hear all the birds, but it's a great view I have here. Anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, certainly. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the listeners, though. This is dope for me. I'll just put my legs <laughs> up here. And, um, so yes, I mean, we can talk about Loki. It's been a week. Spoilers for Loki. In the series finale, you've seen it, right? I have seen it. So they set up the multiverse because there's a big old, big old uh, Kang thing. What do you think of Kang, by the way? Mm-hmm. For for um, for just going there. I, th- I found him weirdly cartoony. I didn't I didn't love him. No. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of, kind of a strange dude. Yeah. And I ca- I I'm sad that Loki's best friend in Owen Wilson is now not recognizing him anymore. <laughs> it's now his worst enemy in Owen Wilson. I know. Yeah, I mean, that's just the, de- the default Owen Wilson. But, <laughs> but, through, but yeah, so. through the big twist that happened there, the big ending, uh, yeah, I think they can bring in cameos if they want, and they can just bring in X-Men in general. Like, they can just say, like, mutants were brought over, even if it's not the ones from the Fox world. But I think we'll be seeing a Jackman mm-hmm. cameo. I think we'll be seeing probably a, a, a Yoan Gruffafud cameo. Probably not. Not a be, rough be of wood. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, it's really distracting to be out here. I mean, it's it's very strange to be potting. Out. I'll just I'll show you the what I'm what I'm looking at here. And oh, I, yeah, maybe show, I can show put a the video views. in. But oh look, god, I mean, that's just, so that is so nice. What the I mean, hell? It's beautiful, but also I'm just like also all of my neighbors now can completely hear me potting, so I can't say anything too horrific. Oh my god! Like Wong the is paper view is even more spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, I don't know what we were saying. Hugh Jackman might come back. Brilliant. Are you excited for yeah. Jackman to suit up with I'm a, the I always, I always like a good Jackman, so I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm down for Who it. Who doesn't? Well, on to, uh, arguably... Not arguably tragic. It's pretty tragic, but it's not... I mean, it's not the worst thing that could happen, but it's not great. I don't know why I set it up like this. Um, Wong is in another movie. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford has, uh, been... I was about to say mortally injured. Definitely not mortally injured, but he's been he's been injured. Um, okay. On the set of Indiana Jones Five, because he was practicing a stunt and he like f-ed up his shoulder. So. Um, Come on, Harrison. Harrison he's is. He's too old to be doing those stunts, anyways. I like, mean, what's, Harrison. What's... I don't want to say take a hint, but I mean, he also remember a door collapsed <laughs> on him when he was pl- doing in Star Wars. I did not know that. Like but snapped his leg in not... half. Weidman style. Really. So ah, oh, don't widen yeah. me. So um, so Harrison. I mean, hopefully I don't he can. Th- hopefully he can Harrison afford healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully he can 
Hera sing some good songs to make him feel better? <laughs> I think Freddy's frozen again. That's the only reason I'm not <laughs> hearing anything. <laughs> the, the joke might have killed him out of laughter. It's um. <laughs> I think the mic is actually peaking too much because he's laughing so hard. <laughs> um, well, yeah, so Harrison, I mean, <laughs> you are... God, yeah, this really is like is a beach pod. Uh, you are like... Is 78, is he? I think he's 82 or something. Oh, so, like, I mean, I admire the man for, you know, getting out there and doing doing Tom Cruise-esque things. But also, Harrison, take care mm -hmm. of yourself, man. Like, you're already crashing yeah, planes, on. you're breaking shoulders. Like, chill out, dude. This is And this is not even to do with any anything to do with your job, Harrison. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, the plane stuff is just your own personal glory. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, uh, we wish Harrison a healthy recovery, but I think Indiana Jones 5 has been postponed filming at least. Um, God, okay, okay. I hope the seagull shuts the f*** up. No offense <laughs> to any seagull lovers out there. I usually love <laughs> seagulls, but right now, right now I'm f***ing podcasting, so. Right now I'm a professional. I imagine that this Harrison Ford behavior will be Tom Cruise as well when he gets old. Yeah, definitely. We're going to be hearing about a lot of... I mean, Tom Cruise is already snapping his feet off in his prime of 57 or whatever he is. Exactly. Just imagine how many bones he's going to break just by walking when he's 80. <laughs> also, God, now there's a whole party going on out here. This whole pod is basically just going to be me walking around with the computer trying to find a place that has good Wi-Fi and I can record. <laughs> Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a bit of a bit of a shambles to edit this pod. Oh, this will be a shambles to listen to as well. This will. I, I just want to promise that this is the only one we're doing here while I'm here. So this is the one that will be the worst, uh, the worst pod ever. Okay. Let's just put. Let's just okay, make it clear. Okay. Um, but you know what would improve this pod? Some Dwayne what? news. <laughs> and I'm I am all out. So <laughs> sorry guys. So this really is gonna be trash. Um, <laughs> we do have some Dwoos, and luckily it's combined with some oh. Diesel news. Doos? No. <laughs> the doos? The doos and the doos. <laughs> the so, twoods? <laughs> so, um, Vincent Diesel has talked about where the rock beef stemmed from, if you're at oh, all really? interested in that. I am interested. Which is kind <laughs> that of... That was a genuine reaction just now. <laughs> which is, uh, kind of hilarious, but, um... Okay. It apparently came from... So... I mean, based on what I've heard, this is how I imagine the scenario went down. So The Rock is doing his best oh acting. Oh God, can I just say, can I just say, I saw the Babadook in your father <laughs> walking by the window behind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's genuinely terrifying. My father is not what happened. Um, yeah. But yeah, so apparently, so Dwayne's on set. He's doing his Dwayne thing. You know, he's acting his heart out. He's putting out like a Citizen Kane-esque performance. And then I can Diesel apparently gives him some acting notes or like basically tells him how to act better because he he wants him to like fulfill the scene better you know and so mm. um Dwayneathan doesn't really take kindly to this i guess but basically i mean what it stems from and then they beat the shit out of each other basically what it stems from is no not really i wish <laughs> diesel was That'd giving so Dwayne good. some notes on you can, his you can acting. do you can do this tip and this tip and then Dwayne just looks up and just punches him in the gut <laughs> <laughs> like I have to say, Diesel, first of all, not to be mean, but Dwayne Johnson but is he's ten not times the man the actor who should be giving out you will ever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the man to be giving out acting tips. And two, you're also you're in the Fast and Furious films. Dwayne is Dwayne's acting is perfect for the Fast and Furious films. They're not supposed to have amazing acting in them. I don't know yeah. what tips you could give Dwayne Johnson. He plays the same thing in every single thing. Like like you can't <laughs> you can't change perfection. And then um and also, Vin <laughs> Vincent Diesel is not the director, so I don't. So I think Vincent Diesel is getting a little too. Big yeah, I don't know what's. Boots. I don't know what's been going on here with Diesel. I don't know if he had some like brain fart or something. I wouldn't Power even get like his. <laughs> like Diesel, he's a big man, from the waist down. But, <laughs> um, but he's he's a shrimp of a man compared to to Dwayne, isn't he? Dwayne would wreck him. So again. Take care of yourself, Diesel. Yeah, Diesel's out here like, looking for inju injuries. Yeah, and he's gonna get it if he can continues down this path. Oh God. Um, hello. I think I might am just I, actually sit inside again because that might, because at least there's no sound in there. <laughs> but the ambience. <laughs> the worst pod ever. Oh my God. 
this is this is the poorly planned <laughs> why are you listening <laughs> but also please get us to a thousand subs <laughs> yeah legit the first five minutes is a rant about how we're so close please subscribe and then we produce the garbage. most shit podcast in the world <laughs> oh my god well here's a piece of news uh matthew vaughn's latest film will be starring dua lipa john cena and henry cavill what is this completely <laughs> picked out of a hat random mix of people? <laughs> and also steve-o no i'm kidding <laughs> no, that, was, that was jokes <laughs> ranked steve would never be in this <laughs> he's too good for this <laughs> um yeah so what do you think of that it's a it's a spy movie it's called argyle argyle is dua lipa an actress i don't think so 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 i think we what? could be looking at a at an elton john in, in kingsman 2 situation here oh god i'll say i'm gonna move i mean <laughs> Not just not just around the house, just actually move house. This, this is garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is like a, a choose your own adventure kind of kind of episode where it's just throughout. I'm I just feel like I'm in MTV Show Off Your Home or whatever it's called. MTV Cribs. MTV Show Off Your Home. Well, this should be a very exciting episode for the listeners because you know it's 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 lots of high drama, high stakes, lots of seagulls. Um. <laughs> that is so sad. Lots of seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, can we just, I know this is terrible, but can we appreciate that at least we're trying to put out a pod this week despite the horrible yeah, come circumstances on, like, that we're in? <laughs> come on, cut us some slack here. I mean, amazing circumstances, but horrible for podcasting, which is, you know, all of our life mm-hmm. is. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't think Dua Lipa is an actress, so we could be looking at an Elton John and Kingsman situation, although she's not famous enough to just play herself. So I don't know, maybe she's exactly. like trying to... Is she trying, trying to, to like, break do out as thing? an actress? Yeah. That, like, Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus. Yeah. I mean, I like Dua Lipa's music. Um, yeah, she's got she's got some bangers, as they call them. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have too many stinkers, I believe it's called. <laughs> um, I mean, Cena and Cavill together. Um, Cena could and be Cavill? A, I, that, that sounds like a decent, decent duo. Okay, here's something. Here's something that combines my two favorite things, film and... UFC. So a, a stunt for the new Jackass film has been revealed, and oh? it was in fact that one of them was punched in the testicular area by Francis Ngannou. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Who, in case you don't know, is the current UFC heavyweight champion. He is six foot four, weighs probably two hundred eighty-five pounds. You know, out, out of fighting. Jesus, he's an absolute tank. He hits. He has the world record for the world's most powerful punch. It's apparently the equivalent to being hit by a Ford Escort, although I don't really believe that stat. But, you know, he hits hard, is the yeah, point. That's, that sounds weird, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think of that, and who do you think took the hit to the family jewels? Also, Nganu said he hopes that the person had already had a family, which is pretty pretty brutal thing to say before yeah, you hit someone in the nuts. <laughs> I hope you already had children. I hope it after. <laughs> <laughs> after he hits them? By the way, there's no way you're gonna get any woman pregnant now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty savage from Ngannou. But Ngannou's a lovely, lovable man, and he apparently, yeah, he uh, hit them, and they were like, "That wasn't hard enough. Like, you have to like do full power." So, so that's horrific. Like, so, who who are the who, what's the Jackass crew now? It's Johnny Knoxville. Um, is Steve? Is the is the st- who is yeah <laughs> Steve? I guess Steve was there. <laughs> If he's not over there doing a movie with Henry Cavill and John Cena. <laughs> That's the only other place he could be. <laughs> that or like <laughs> or like getting freaking pummeled by Nganu. Those are just two professions. Honestly, yeah, if you look up Francis Ngannou's highlights, just imagine that hitting you in the uh in Right the, the Family Jewels. Oh my god. Yeah. In the newt sack as we call oh. it. Oh, <laughs> So what did you do today, honey? <laughs> oh, I got punched right in the newt sack by Francis Ngannou. God, what an honor. God, that's, that's equivalent to being knighted in France. <laughs> anyway, cool. Is he from France? He is. Well, he's from Cameroon, yeah. but he also like lived in France. He mm-hmm. speaks with like a French accent. He's like, hello, yeah, yeah, exactly. Francis Ngannou. <laughs> Jackson is just Ngannou, talking like really quietly, I guess. <laughs> Hello, my <laughs> name is Francis Ngannou. <laughs>
<laughs> My um, name's uh, Francis Ngannou. I punch you in the pee-pee right in the nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> your, uh, your nutsack will not be effective in impregnating a woman after this. <laughs> after... <laughs> I know this is not him, but my balls was. <laughs> <laughs> god. Oh my god. God, that's a legendary quote, though. Despite not being from Nganu. <laughs> no, <I'm> Nutsack? <laughs> that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright that? <laughs> Damn. Nganutsack. <laughs> We've, we've hit many bangers on this pod, but I don't think anyone has been quite as good as the Francis Ngannutsak. Also, the worst part about this is that this is genuinely the highlight of this episode so far. It's the most horrendous <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Also, I'm eating chocolate because I'm depressed about this podcast. <laughs> about getting punched in my Nutsak. Um... Okay, did you see the WandaVision thing? I did not. Is there a WandaVision thing? <laughs> Paul Bettany's gonna <laughs> punch you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Bettany is the jackass character who got punched. <laughs> God, I would pay money to see that. Not that I hate Paul Bettany or anything, but just that'd be, that'd be epic, come on. Actually, okay, if there's one celebrity that you would like to see get punched by Francis Ngannou in the uh, nether regions, who would, who would that be? Oof. Of course, we wish them no harm. In real life, but mm-hmm. oh, you, you you go first. You go first. Let me let me think. I need to <sighs> choose a proper one here. You know the guy with the eyebrows from Where the Millers. Ah, eyebrow McNutsack man. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure he's a lovely dude, but I don't know for some reason that <laughs> that image makes me like really happy inside. Uh, now I know I know we love the man, right? Like we adore don't, him. Don't do, but I don't do I, Anthony I, Mackie I, like this. This is <laughs> oh god, I wouldn't. Um... And this is genuinely just for scientific purposes, because I am genuinely unsure of how the universe would react if Francis Ngannou punched Josh Gad right in the nads. <laughs> right in the Josh nads? <laughs> right in his Josh... <laughs> right in his Josh Ganads. God. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> Do you not think it would, like, cause some, like, cataclysmic event? I feel like it would be, like... I, I feel like earthquakes like would happen. A, an, an unst- like an unstoppable object meets <laughs> Josh Gad. <laughs> I think the movie San Andreas would happen as a result of that. <laughs> anyway, WandaVision. Uh, no, I would love that, actually. That sounds great. No offense, Josh Gad, but I mean, that would be... Actually, it's a compliment, because we're saying, like, what would happen if, like, such a... Such, such a powerful Powerful person. being came into contact with Ngannou <laughs> Nutsack. <laughs> oh, no, WandaVision. So, there was a thing where they added something to the post credit scene... Because remember, in the post credit scene, or the ending, or whatever it was, where Wanda's out there in the woods, in a cabin, and she's oh, yeah. looking through books or whatever. So apparently they edited it, and now there's, like, a little, a figure, a blurry figure in the background while it's, like, zooming in on the house. And people are saying, Ooh. is is that Mr. Doctor? And, um... No. Some people are saying it's That's just a Mr. smudge Doctor. on the camera, which I don't understand why they would oh. add a smudge to to the camera three months after the thing came out. So it's probably yeah. meant to be someone or something. Um, it's, it's, could be Wong. See this. How, could be Steve-O. How, how, <laughs> could be Steve-O. <laughs> um, Wanda, Vision. It could also just be nothing, who knows. But anyway, it prob- it's probably Mr. Doctor or something, you know? If there's, if there's something you're unsure about what is, it's 90% probably <laughs> Mr. Doctor. Ben, ben and the Cumberbatch just showing up. Doing, doing his thing. Mm-hmm, yeah. um, did you see the new trailer for What If? I have not. Jay, I know this is. A, I know this is a really, really, really sad confession. But I think the the only new trailer I've watched is is Turning, Turning Red. Red or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah, somehow doesn't surprise me. To be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, anyway, What If? Um, there were a bunch of new things. I, I didn't look too much into it because I didn't want to have too much of it spoiled. Like I'd like to go in with a bit of a sense of mystery. But there is one big reveal that um it will be what's it called so the iron man based one will be if iron man was off in um afghanistan being you know douchey douchey mcstark and then when the missile mm-hmm. comes to blow him up killmonger saves him and then like they become buddies Ooh. i assume 
and he and Killmonger then replaces Happy Hogan as his best friend. So okay, okay. I guess that would make Tony Stark. Well, then, the, then the universe might just collapse. Yeah, <laughs> if Happy Hogan is left friendless. Um, <laughs> God. So yeah, are you excited for that? I guess. F- this up. God. I. <laughs> God. What? What absolute garbage. <laughs> God, I have actually failed at making good content. <laughs> My name's uh, Francis Ngannou. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to punch you in your penile urethra. What did I just hear? <laughs> I My don't name's know. I don't Francis know. Ngannou, and I might have to punch you in your penile urethra. <laughs> it's gotten way too... Gra- I mean, it's more of like a health lesson, to be honest, than like anything else. This no, this point. is more like an anatomical thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, most people probably don't know what those words mean. Um... <laughs> Well, anyway, I mean, that's all the news I have. I mean, we have we have a little more time we can fill. And since, I mean, we're not really getting... Uh, let's be honest, we're not really covering this news with as much I- insane depth, despite the fact that I now get to title this episode, like, Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine, question mark? But is there anything else you um, you have to discuss, either movie news-related or otherwise? You've, been, you've done anything worth a pod anecdote lately or anything like uh, that? This is not at all pod-worthy, uh, I guess, but... Got a funny little story from my work that happened the other day. Oh. If if the listeners want to want to hear, it's also very short, so I won't fill up much time. That's fine. But I um I was sitting I was I work at the experimentarium, which is kind of um is there something similar in in America or something like that that people might know better? Mm, it's like it's not a theme park, but it's like it's where you go where there are lots of different like sciency fun activities and yeah. exhibitions and goofy things that yeah, you can play exactly. around with and yeah. Mm-hmm. Mainly, mainly for kids, it needs to be said. Um, yeah. So, I've 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 worked there for almost a month now, and I've come across a lot of parents who are just very, very, um, not enthusiastic about being there. Let's just say, mm. the the kind of rule is you're not really like you're allowed to bring in water and you're allowed to bring in uh, a few snacks, but not not really any food or like other beverages to come into the place, right? And I was I was doing door duty the other day. <laughs> and a dad this sounds like something right out of a movie but a guy came up to me like or, or a dad he, he looked very very tired and then um i see he's like ho- he's holding a water bottle and it's see-through and in it is a liquid that's certainly not water because it, it's got like a uh or uh, an apple juice-esque esque look mm. i was like oh sorry you, you sorry you can't really uh, you can't bring in other beverages and he and he, and he leans into me and says I'm not going to survive this day without my whiskey. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so I was like, "Who's this Eastwood character that's entered my workplace?" <laughs> wow! And I assume you just let him take it in. Legit, I didn't really know what to do, so I was like, "I just, I just keep it on your on the down though." And I was like, <laughs> "I shoot him in." Oh my god, that's so good. I was so like, I was so like stumped. I was like, "God, what a the, the man's got so much balls." <laughs> <laughs> and probably kind of like issues, like what a not very great father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably serious alcoholic issues that I should have helped him with. But, uh. <laughs> but like, God, I mean, man, that yeah, that does sound straight out of a movie. I hope you won't get fired for like putting this out on the pod. Uh, I I mean, my boss is is a, is a regular listener. <laughs> uh, I do work for um, Key and Conicky, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not the most clever thing to put this out, but oh well. God. What's done is done. <laughs> well, what a legend slash not at all legend slash bad father slash i guess guy just trying to live his life i guess we shouldn't judge too much yeah yeah, yeah. who knows Mm -hmm. no many layers (laughs) yeah this is an extreme layered experience Mm. (laughs) well speaking of layered experiences i did um i did pass by woody's barbecue which i've I've mentioned before which is which exists here i did i sent a picture of it to the pod fan page and i was like um because you know i want to i'm not saying i'm trying to start a global movement but uh, I think we should start, mm. like, a trend where if you see a Woody's, you know, you, you send it in and the pod fan page posts it. So I did send it. I did put, yeah, like, uh, I did yeah. write with it. I was like, feel free to post. And I feel like I meant it in kind of, like, a nice, like, fun, jovial way. But I feel like it came across very passive-aggressive. Like, I sent him this thing. I was like, feel free to post. All right? <laughs> I've sent you a picture of a Woody's barbecue. <laughs> so I just want to make clear I'm, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> Kian. I did and then not you said a gun it. emoji. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, I hope it didn't didn't come across that way, but I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, nothing else really crazy has been happening around here. I've just been, been oh, beaching well, it we, up. We, should, we, we could address a crazy thing that's happening tomorrow evening. That mm-hmm. is oh the J.J. Olatunji show. <laughs> I don't know if 
we should put out publicly that we actually paid for this. That, we're, that's, that we actually paid for this. That's actually true. And that I actually paid uh, my money many weeks in advance for the KSI show. All right, I, I I still haven't paid as we're recording this. I just want to yeah. So I guess you're you're in the clear. This was recorded on July 16th, by the way, just to be just to be clear. But um, yeah, I don't know what it is to be perfectly honest. I'm still so confused. Is like, it a is, it, is some of it live or is it like yeah, like because it looks like a lot of it's already been filmed. Yeah, it must be pre-recorded, but I guess it's this new thing because also this podcast I listen to TMG, they're also doing this Moment House production thing. So I guess it must be like a new thing where you do like a live show or like a show. That's, like, only aired once, ever, and then, like, that's it, so you're basically paying for, like, a live experience, but, mm. um, I don't get what the experience is, like, I, I'm, ex- I'm excited, I think it's interesting, because Logan yeah. Paul's gonna be in I'm it, just, like, be... I'm so in the dark as to what, what's happening. Yeah, it's, a, I, it's, like, he's, like, it's a story of my life and my YouTube journey, I was, like, so is it, did he make KSI the musical? Like, did he just make a play about his own life, like... I don't... Or is it, like, a documentary kind of thing? Or... Cause, yeah, I don't know. Cause, like, they've also, got why, so many different people in it as well. And why is Dad Bilzerian in it? Yeah. <laughs> and why has True Geordie not been announced yet? That is genuinely a tragedy if True Geordie's not in it. True Geordie is a bigger part of his YouTube journey than almost everyone in it besides maybe Vicstar. So, if he isn't in it, <laughs> I'll be deeply disappointed. Besides maybe Josh Circa. <laughs> God. But, yeah, it's... I don't know. I Yeah, I, as, so excited for the I'm excited, KSI I'm show but also, I mean very, we could, very confused you know, if you're watching it we can maybe facetime or something watch do a, do a little Ooh. live watch together you know so i like that, it i like it be a bit of a shout you know a bit of a shout you know well enough waffle this podcast is over um <laughs> have, yeah, have we done enough filibustering <laughs> <laughs> i do believe i will actually title this you know the great clickbaity news title and then in parentheses uh-huh. stinky episode <laughs> because <laughs> this one was mostly just Genu- me trying to get a connection me trying to walk around and find somewhere and then long awkward unbroken silences between comments about um steve-o mm-hmm. oh, yeah. i mean which is in fairness what usually <laughs> happens when one talks about steve-o <laughs> but hey i hope you enjoyed again maybe we put ourselves too too much down i mean probably not on this occasion but like Sometimes we're, the but fans yeah, are sometimes, probably thinking, sometimes like... Sometimes we're like, oh, this is terrible, and then it's actually gold. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes the fans would be listening and being like, stop talking about how bad, like, it's fine, whatever. I, I didn't notice how terrible it was until you mentioned it. Now I want to unsubscribe and get you back to 950 oh, yeah, maybe, subs. Maybe, maybe that's what's happening, honestly. Yeah, so, okay, no, it, this was fantastic, and I love it, and it was our best episode yet. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> Please sub. Um, well, now it's time for... The Tom Canoes. <laughs> Tom Cruise takes socially distant, distanced, f- distanced photos with fans at the Euro 2020 <laughs> final. Tom Cruise takes a socially distant. F- <laughs> <laughs> so he was at the 2020 finals. Um, I hope he was rooting for Italy. Otherwise, I will stop. No, I, Gen- I Jenny, I don't think he was. He was sitting next to all the like posh English people. Sitting oh. next to David Beckham. Well, sucks to be Cruise then, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not coming home, Cruz. <laughs> um, anyway, and he took some pictures with some... Oh, yeah, there he is with Beckham. Look at that. From the Instagram account, yeah. Tom, Cru- Tom Cruise Universe. They really missed a trick there by not calling it Tom Cruise Universe, but whatever. I guess not everyone can come up with great <laughs> things like this. Uh, not everyone's as, as witty as... Oh, as you. sorry. I found another great account. Tom Cruise and the Cruisers. <laughs> Actually, let's just find different Tom Cruise accounts and just make fun of their names. Well, <laughs> Tom Cruise and the Cruisers. Tom Cruise Brazil. <laughs> it's not a very, not a very creative <laughs> name. That, I bet that's all the all his per- Peruvian fans. Yeah, <laughs> all the Germans gather here. <laughs> um, well, anyway, that was the Tom Cruise news for this week. Good for him. I guess he got to attend a fun game. Um. <laughs> Anyway, it's now time for the announcements and such, which will be recorded a few days from now, um, closer to the thing, so. And we are back for the announcements and such segment. I got Freddy on the phone. What else are you expecting? God damn. This week's announcements and such should, should hopefully be better than last week's. I don't know if you listened to last week's episode, but there was a bit of a, a massive L with the announcements and such, because, um... Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get to the announcements and such. I mean, what, what people rarely do, but um, it was the the mic messed up, and uh, <laughs> and so it sounded basically like um, do you remember the commentary for the uh, Fousey Tube fight 
where the, the people were like talking directly into the microphone. It was like, Rrr, Rrr. Uh, <laughs> what a weird thing to say. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know why that's my point of reference you anyway. The commentary for the Fusi Tube fight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have said I should have specified the Fusi Tube versus Slim boxing event. Um, okay, that's that's better. I was, I was worried there for a second. <laughs> anyway, so that's what it sounded like. It was god awful. I tried to fix it a little bit, but um, it was horrendous. So anyway, hopefully this week I fixed the mic. And um, yeah, so we have. I don't want to say we have a billion announcements, but we have so many <laughs> announcements here. So. <laughs> Goddamn tired of everything. <laughs> God, I just I want to stop the pod. Um, <laughs> so let's just let's power through these, shall we? First of all, we put out a video yesterday. This pod was, uh, I mean, the rest of the pod was recorded before this happened, but we hit a thousand subs. Put out a video about it, um, oh. and I mean, we did. Yeah, we've already put out the video. I, so I, all I want to say here is, I think it's pretty funny that we hit it and then we went under again, <laughs> yeah. which was. And then we went up again. Yeah. And which now is, with the a cameo in the latest video i'm sure we'll go down to like 20 <laughs> yeah i'm sure we'll lose at least 45 percent of our, our subscribers but um <laughs> it's it's very poorly planned podcast-esque you know it, it would happen it's like it's like the woody's shutting I down guess. of of pod moments um <laughs> but i like how i like how everyone started congratulating us on the fan page and stuff like that and we're like we're, we're, we come back down. <laughs> I was like, oh no, we're on 998. <laughs> but hey, um, we went back up, and yeah, there's just been a ton of nice messages. Um, the uh, pod fan page from Kean posted a story about it. Um, JC Comics sent in a very nice message about it, uh, as did uh, Movie Master 69420. Again, a great, great username. That was actually. <laughs> Name. Yeah, that that was my second choice after BHL Hudson was actually Movie Master sixty nine four twenty. Um, okay, so you're happy to see that someone yeah that gavel is. <laughs> someone took up the mantle. <laughs> um, and yeah, just a ton of nice things. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to the comments on the video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and lots of nice comments and like posts on the fan page and stuff. Um. The 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 OG fan page from Pierce posted a story about uh, 1,000. So that was that was very that was very cool to see. Also, apparently, one of his videos about the cat in the hat was blocked in North Korea. Uh, that's a whole other thing. I just saw that story and I was like, huh, that's a bit strange. But um, kind of weird. Anyway, um, so I hope that works out. <laughs> uh, then the apparently I just saw this now. Um, apparently. Kean has started the poorly planned podcast TikTok account, which yeah, um, I just saw this as well. Yeah, I was not familiar with, but I will be uh, suing for copyright infringement. So <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I was I was slightly confused to begin with because I mean I, I know I know he's trying to give credit to us, but in the description he writes the poorly planned podcast TikTok run by B, by BHL <laughs> Hudson, and it makes it sound like we're running that TikTok. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, happy there for, but I mean, I I thought you were gonna say it sounds like you aren't part of the podcast, which would be pretty funny. Um, that oh, he just like well, completely excluded well. you from from the, the bio. Um, yeah, I hadn't really thought of that. I mean, I just seen it just now, so I'm not really 100 100 percent sure what it is. Um, I mean, yeah, to be clear, it's not run by me; it is run by Kean. But um, I, yeah, I think he meant the so the the pod um like YouTube channels run by me. And again, you are excluded from that, but um. I think I think he has like he has written me, but it's like such a long description that I get cut off, which is ah. You are the Mike Wazowski of of this podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, that's cool. I have been th- honestly thinking about making a TikTok, just like a Beach Hill Hudson TikTok for a while, because also I've been thinking about getting into that YouTube oh, Shorts damn. game. Can we see, see Beach Hill Hudson dro- like bust it? No, you cannot see Beach Hill Hudson. Bust it. I can't believe that's a question I've had to answer on the podcast. <laughs> I hate that you just asked, can we see BHL Hudson bus it? <laughs> I will be doing the Renegade, however, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> I, genuinely... I, think, I, I think you would uh, you'd actually get a lot of support for it. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. Um, Maybe even a few charitable donations to the weird kid on the, on the screen. <laughs> but, no, I was thinking, you know, getting into the YouTube shorts, maybe doing, you know, a little one-minute little thing. It's like, top ten Marvel movies in one minute, you know. Because YouTube do be promoting those YouTube shorts. 
Um, uh-huh. And also, I mean, also because I would love to do it, and it's all for integrity, and not at all because YouTube would promote it. Um, anyway. Are you, gonna, are you gonna be one of those who, like, has the most, like, <laughs> the most stale voices, like, number 10, <laughs> Iron Man. Iron Man's super cool. <laughs> I mean, basically, that's all I would be able to say in one minute about 10 movies, but, yeah, um, I, I, I should, you know, I actually should do that, just, just do it a terrible video. But anyway, so check out the poorly planned TikTok, I suppose. Um, good stuff. I mean, yeah, I think, I feel like the pod is also quite suited for TikTok, more so than BHL Hudson, because, like, you know, you can take a little funny one-minute clip and put it up there. I mean, funny, uh, arguably. But... Whereas with BHL Hudson, there's too many funny clips. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with BHL Hudson, it takes, it takes five minutes to explain how hilarious the joke is. So, um... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for the common folk. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't fit the short-form content. But, um... <laughs> yeah. Uh... God. Anyway, check out the Poorly Planned Podcast TikTok. I assume that's the ad. Um... JC Comics sent in a vid celebrating a thousand subs. It's a great video. No? Uh, I'll put it in in the pod. I'll send it to you afterwards as well. Um, I mean, if it's not here, by the way, it's because it does have a lot of copyrighted music in it. But hopefully, uh, it can get up, you know, through the YouTube system because it's a great video. So oh, nice. Let's just clap. Ready? Yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 93rd episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. Daddy loves who? Me. Daddy loves who? Me. Me. I said no. no, no. Daddy loves who? The Poorly Planned Podcast. I do believe it is time for... The Tom can use. I made a fortune working for them boys. Fact. Boxes and bush. All boats, no dust. Boxes and boxes and boxes with the toddlers of your thumb. Boxes and bush. All boats, no dust. Boxes and boxes and boxes with the toddlers of your thumb. Boxes and bush, all boats, no dust. Boxes and boxes and boxes with the toddlers of your thumb. Boxes and bush, all boats, no dust. Boxes and boxes and boxes with the toddlers of your thumb. No, thank you so much, JC Comics, for that. Uh, that was a great video. Made me happy, made me smile, as they say. Um, not genuinely great stuff. <laughs> thank you. As they say, it didn't actually. <laughs> no, it did. Uh, no, yeah, in JC Comics, I think I mentioned also sent, like, a very nice message about the pod. Great stuff. A lot of support this week. Too much, honestly. We don't deserve it. Then, um... No, honestly, it's, it's, been very, it's been very heartwarming. Yeah, no. Uh, I didn't know how to react. I handle praise horribly. No, it's it genuinely been very, very nice. Like I said about, like, the community around the pod. It's just, it's a delightful thing. So, yeah, thanks, guys. And also, AJ Murray, um sent a, like, you know, very nice message, and also said that he expected, uh, when I said, like, we have a special cameo in the video, that Dwayne Johnson was going to be there, and I'm genuinely, I genuinely, and no offense to Sam Stein, aka Michael Nathanson, who's a legend, but I do think that setup probably set a lot of people up for something much grander, like we'd gotten Tom Cruise, or Brenton Thwaites, or or Josh Gad, and then it's Michael Nathanson, who I think we've memed more, like, we've had more jokes about in our personal life than we have on the pod, I think we've only mentioned it once. I I, I think think we've talked, yeah, like, you put in the segment where we we take the piss out of Nathanson, but other than that, I don't think anyone holds any proper regard <laughs> it's more of an epic meme for us to be honest uh, i'm sorry but it was also it was the best i could get but also that sounds so mean to nathanson i, I really he was great he provided a great video it was awesome i put his cameo on the link of the, in the description <laughs> But, um, no, yeah, anyway, so I just thought that was funny. I was like, yeah, you know, that would have been nice, but Dwayne Johnson maybe maybe slightly out of our pay grade. Um, yeah, just, just slightly. <laughs> then um, let's go through some comments. Um, on pod 93, um, let's see. Ek- uh, goodness, I'm going to totally butcher this. Um, ex- how, how would you pronounce X-R-I-S-T-O-S? X-R-I-S-T-O-S. X-Christos? I'm sorry. I'm, please, as, um, what's his name? Um, 
Anson Hartzordid, you feel free to leave a comment down below um, on how to pronounce your name so I don't butcher it in the future. But he said, um, the announcements in such segment really reminded me of BHL Hudson from 2014, which made me laugh pretty hard because my mic quality uh -huh. did used to be absolute garbage. And the fact that someone <laughs> remembers those times as I do, that's that's pretty cool. So thank you. Back no, I was I was rocking the uh, the Mac, you know, inbuilt microphone, which a uh, bit of a stinker. Um, movie guy said, "Let's go." The pod finally hit 1K in four years. Time flies. I started secondary SKL when the pod started. I think that's a school thing, and I still remember listening to the first episode in the airport on the BHL channel. And now we're at 93 episodes. Congrats and well done to both of you. So a very wholesome uh, message. Really appreciate yeah, movie guy. I, God, I, yeah. And then, I, I've liked the ball, but I don't know, <laughs> well, it's, I don't know what, what else to do. It is slightly underwhelmed by then Cal W responding underneath, someone unsubscribed, we're back to 999. <laughs> Which is oh my goodness. Again, very fitting. Uh, and then on the 1,000 <laughs> subs, uh, GC Green said, this podcast is something special, and I'm not even joking when I say that. You've managed to keep me entertained for the past four years and have lifted me up on the gloomiest of days. Great to see you guys grow your following. More fan art, or, more fan art and videos are coming soon. Alexis Herrera says, congratulations. I uh, love this pod in the community. Just a lot of a lot of really nice comments. Yeah. Daniel yeah. at the movies. I can't. Yeah, we're, we can't go through all of them, but just everyone was super supportive and nice. And just um, by the way, that sounded really dickheaded. We can't go through all of them. There's so much so much fan mail. Oh, just, can't <laughs> my PO box is full. Come on, guys. <laughs> Um, Kean says every podcast has its uniqueness. Just go with it. The poorly planned podcast motto. Love that. Uh, you know, that is very good, honestly. <laughs> uh, movie guy said something nice. Michael Scarn. Uh, Benedict suddenly confirms that Tom Cruise, Dwayne, Brenton Thwaites, Gad, and Renner will have a special appearance. I, I'm afraid there will not be many guest appearances besides perhaps Lele and or you've seen cameo. Not to spoil anything, maybe. But um, you know, hopefully the rest of the episode will still live up to it. Um, and we have to pay them a lot of money, so our budget's kind of run dry. Yeah. <laughs> Scarn also says, not only is this podcast one of the podcast one of the podcasts yeah. out there, but it is the best yeah, podcast I think, that... I think, I, think you, <laughs> I think you meant to say best podcast, because I read that, I was like, I mean, you're not wrong, Scarn, but... <laughs> well, I think he's also maybe memeing us, because he says, not only is this podcast one of the podcasts out there, but it is the best podcast that uses vowels in its name. So I think he's, I think he's kind of memeing us a little bit and taking the piss out of us, which... um. Fair play, we, we deserve that. Jake Nelson says, what an epic cameo at the end. Movie Boy says, I bet the 100 episode thumbnail would be the podcast ending prank again. Also, congrats on this milestone. I've seen each episode like 10 times. Thank you, Movie Boy. And yeah, I don't, we can't do the uh, the end of the poorly planned podcast prank again, um, even though it was pretty epic the second time. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it, it did create a great skit. Although, to be fair, I mean, it was, both times have been kind of true because it's been, you know, question mark because we did have to, there was, you know, there's a few breaks in between. Yeah, we we're weren't never sure. Never again. Yeah. We're up to a daily <laughs> upload schedule now. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see what happens, but yeah, no, that's um, that was, yeah, we can't. We're no, I I already have the idea for the thumbnail, dude. It's gonna be. I mean, yeah, look, okay, I don't I don't want to overhype it, so you know, it's not gonna be. We're not gonna have Dwayne in it. You know, it's not gonna be the most crazy thing ever. Yeah. But we're putting a lot of effort into it. We're putting a, a decent chunk of money into it. To be fair, for a certain part, um. You know, I, I think I'm, we have a lot of fun ideas. I think it's going to be a really fun thing. Don't, ex yeah, I don't, I don't want to KSI show this, and which, by the way, I like. Yeah, we'll talk I was, about I was that. About but to say a lot of money into this. It's going to be the most disappointing thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't like expect you know the craziest thing ever. But I think it's going to be a really fun, different thing. We have a few different segments and stuff. I think it's going to be a good time. So, yeah. Are we going to do the like the YouTube premiere thing where it's like there's a countdown and then everyone can watch it live? Yeah, let's do that because it's it's going to be it's going to be like a bit of a special thing. Show. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, a few people asking about what the 100th episode is going to be, what, you know, they're excited for it. So yeah, there are a bunch of fun things in there. It's going to be a good time. Uh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, a few segments in particular will be, will be delightful. I mean, we've talked about a bunch of stuff we've, you know, we're planning on and people have suggested things. It's going to be fun. So yeah, it's, it's only five weeks away, which means we also only have five weeks to film the entire thing, which, because we've barely filmed anything. So that's going to be, uh, and we, yeah, we'll, and we'll actually only see each other in like, yeah. So, uh, like <laughs> I'm going to be busy editing for, <laughs> for the month of August, but hey, it's going to be good. Um, and now finally the fan page, of course. Um, and as, as I mentioned before, the Pierce fan page also posted a very nice thing. Actually, did he, did he make an actual post? Cause I think I might've, no, he wouldn't. He did <laughs> the no. crazy dog. Um, he posted a congrats for 1000, which was very cool. Cool to see. Thank you, Pierce. 
And yeah, again, we didn't go through everyone, but thank you everyone who said congrats. It's it's very nice. Um, yeah. As we discussed earlier in this episode, I sent in the Woody's um, barbecue from from uh, where I'm at at the moment uh, uh-huh. to stir the Woody's movement. And AJ Murray also sent one in. So yeah, keep keep the Woody's movement going. You see a Woody's anywhere, whether it's a shop or a cafe or even a hardware store, send it into the fan page and send let's keep it now, please. keep the movement going. This is the Cump 2.0. Um, also, Green Got Griff commented, "You can take the pod out of Woody's, but you can't take the Woody's out of the pod." Very true words. True words have never been spoken. Um, Very deep and philosophical. <laughs> I think that's going on my tombstone. But um, no, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Green Dot Griff. I'll get that engraved on, on my wedding ring. <laughs> yeah. I'll have that tattooed on my forehead. Um, then. <laughs> That one flight attendant on Freddy's flight, which is DiCaprio pointing, in reference to you watching the Mackie Black Mirror game sex episode. Good stuff. Um, And then the I Fear No Man meme, except you being terrified of the little Italian fish boy, which is, fair enough, pretty terrifying thing. Uh Uh-huh. I I would scream. Yeah, I like how the whole moral of that movie was like, we shouldn't be scared of, you know, fish boys, because they're just like us, but um, you're terrified of of the fish boy. (laughs) But the takeaway is... I will scream. <laughs> uh, and finally, we are on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And if you're listening there, we are on YouTube. We just hit a thousand subs. We've talked about how in this episode we didn't. But since that episode was recorded and this segment was recorded, we have hit it. So thank you. But let's not stop there. Let's keep going. Let's get to 2,000 by the end of the day. So, um, yeah. Yes, please. And if that doesn't happen, the podcast hashtag terminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, uh... Yeah, we would never terminate the pod, <laughs> unless we don't get 2,000. <laughs> unless by the end of the day. No, yeah, but um, yeah, subscribe. Uh, well, you know, we'll keep pushing. I said thanks for 1,000, here's to a million, so you know that will probably take about like a 1,000 years, but we'll get there eventually. It's good stuff. And leave a rating if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Leave a like, comment your thoughts on what we talked about today below. Good stuff. Uh, tell your friends about the pod. Okay, great. Now back to the pod. Wow. I can't believe that you're frozen again, because you are. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Hello? Oh, th- hey. Hello? There you are. Crazy announcements, eh? Yeah, I can't believe, uh, f*** it, I'm, I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> that was very underwhelming. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you didn't, um, it was great, so I don't know why. That's but okay. It, but if you didn't, uh, next <laughs> week's episode will be a straight-up banger, I promise you. Uh... I'll find a great topic, I guess. <laughs> it's what I do best. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> um, but, I'm a perfectionist at heart. Yeah, but um, <laughs> if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the pod. We're close to 1,000. Leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the stuff we talked about. Not about Steve-O, though. Please don't comment about that. That would be horrifying. No, yeah, we, we'll have to turn off comments if we see a single <laughs> Steve-O. <laughs> um, and if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and Spotify... Leave us a rating and a five-star rating, please, if you could. Um, although, for this episode, a one-star rating is in order. But, you know, please don't. Please no, just that, keep that, that to yourself. That would be... What's, what's our rating right now? Do, I think it's five it? stars from one review, so... Oh, it's still one review, so okay. So, please, um, I guess keep it that way. I mean, I don't mess with... Yeah, okay. no need to comment, I guess. <laughs> no, but please rate us five stars. Um, and, yeah, if you're listening there, we're also on YouTube. And if you're listening on YouTube, we're also on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So... You can find me on YouTube, BHL Hudson, Instagram, Twitter, BHL underscore Hudson. You can email the pod at bhlhudsonvids at gmail.com. You can find me on Twitter at FTK underscore dot sniper. You can find me on Instagram at FDalgard. And you can find me on YouTube at FTK space agaming. Thank you very much for listening. And we will see you next time. Francis Nutsack. God. <laughs>